House Republicans in Washington are bringing their parents' Bill of Rights to the House floor. The bill is meant to increase parental rights in the classroom. WTAJ's Basil John tells us why it's being criticized by Democrats and why they say it's damaging to kids across the country. We are putting power back in the hands of parents who deserve a seat at the table in their kids' education. Republicans like New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik and Louisiana Congresswoman Julia Letlow say they are answering the call from parents across the country with a plan to pass a new Parents' Bill of Rights. It's about transparency and accountability. The bill says parents have a right to know what their kids are being taught, review a school's budget, and meet in person with teachers at least twice per year. And it's actually astounding to me that we have to have legislation that would protect parents' bill of rights, but here we are. However, Democrats say the bill isn't necessary and does nothing to help schools, kids, or parents. What are we talking about here? New York Congressman Jamal Bowman says parents already have a voice in their children's education through school boards and parent-teacher associations. Parents already are an essential voice in education and essential partners and already have the rights that this bill uh, seeks to put forth. House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries says what parents really want is a high-quality education for their kids across the country. Not right-wing propaganda and culture wars force down the throats of the American people. But House Republican leaders say they have the votes they need to pass the bill when they return to Capitol Hill later this month. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John.